Hey, I'm Chad Asleo, and you might be wondering why I'm on a train. We're at Anasis Island BCIT campus to learn all about the amazing campus and this really sweet train. Come join me. Before we go inside and check out the campus, BCIT just wants to acknowledge that our campuses are located on the unceded traditional territories of the Coast Salish nations, which include Tsleil-Waututh, Squamish, and Musqueam nations. Now let's go check out this campus. Here we go. down here at the commercial truck shop or the CT shop and I'm hoping to find a faculty member here and maybe ask a couple of questions. Hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. Uh, good. I'm just taking a look around here and there's a lot of trucks here, a lot of students working. Can you tell me a bit about this space? Uh, this is our truck shop. We have many bays here with a very diverse amount of trucks. Uh, we use this space everywhere from uh, remove and install larger components, engines and so on, down to diagnostics uh, and in small tasks as well. I did notice over there, I think like that green truck and a couple other things is that's EV related, right? Yes, the, this is our electric vehicle area. We do have full electrics, we have hybrid units, and we do teach electric vehicles in our current apprenticeship program and in our additional courses that we put on here. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks for showing me. I yeah. appreciate it. Take care. All right, we're gonna keep moving around this campus. I'm really excited to show this room to you because there is a massive, massive engine inside this room, a diesel engine in fact, and it's used to help propel the propellers like on a big ferry or a cruise ship. Uh, it, I can't really tell you how big it is, but if it's about triple the height of me, and I think I hear some people on the top part of the engine, so I'm gonna go up there and see if they can tell us more about it. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you for having me up here. I just want to come check out to, to see what you guys are doing. Can you tell me a bit about what you guys are doing and why this engine is so significant? Okay, so right now what we're doing is we're performing a valve clearance adjustment on a large marine medium speed diesel engine. Now, not only this is a diesel engine, but this type of engine is at the forefront of decarbonization because this engine can actually be adapted to run on low carbon fuels such as methanol and liquefied natural gas. Wow, that's cool. It looks very hands-on and a lot of hard work, so I'll let you guys get to it. Yeah, thank okay. you so much. Yeah, thanks. thanks for stopping by. Yeah, no problem. Thanks thank so much. You. All right, I just popped out into the parking lot to get some fresh air and I noticed this trailer here it says mobile classroom heavy equipment training and I see a faculty member here. I'm just going to interrupt them and see if they can tell us about it. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Can you tell me what's inside uh, this trailer? Uh, inside this trailer, we have some heavy equipment uh, operator simulators. We take this thing around to uh, career fairs and high schools and we wow. let people uh, operate, uh, simulate operating equipment. Well, thanks for showing me, that's super cool. No problem. Let's keep going. We all know being a student, sometimes you're working so hard and studying so long that there's not enough time in the day to make lunch the following day, but there's a food truck right outside of this campus, some tasty food for you to eat during your lunch break. I'm getting hungry just talking about it, but we gotta keep looking around this campus, let's go. On the second floor, there's plenty going on. The first thing I noticed right away is there is a student lounge where students can come and hang out, have lunch, do their studies, a nice common area. There's skylights here, gives in some natural light as well too. And there's tons of labs. In fact, there's over 20 different labs focusing on different components of a vehicle. So engine, we got hydraulics, we got electrical, and they're all very divided into very specific subjects. And you can see the classrooms are very full, but they're also small and unique in that way. So students are getting the best possible education and most attention from the teacher because of the class size. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep going down the hallway. I think there's a fun little surprise just down here. All right, I'm still wandering around the second floor here and I think I found the simulation lab. I'm super excited to check this out. Come with me here. Hey, nice to see you again. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, good, good, good. So this is the simulation lab, is that correct? Yes, it is. Can I try this one? Absolutely. That's awesome. And obviously for students here, this is a great opportunity to get that uh, potential hands-on experience, right? Uh, you betcha, and wow. it's uh, a lot safer to have them working on simulators right? rather than the uh, real machine. And you're not burning gas either. That's right. That's good. All right, so how do we do this? I start it, right? Sure, yeah. Okay, let's try that. That's going to be your hydraulic lock. Push that forward. Lock there. And then this, basically, obviously, my controls. There we go. And lift it up, pull back at the same time. Nicely done. All right. Let's go move this pile of dirt somewhere else. When you're done, you're going to put the hydraulic lock there. Pull back that on. back. 
and awesome. you can turn it off. Turn it off. Wow, what a cool experience. What's the feedback been like for students that get an opportunity to sit in something like this? Everybody loves it. It's like a big video game and it transfers into real world experience if you're operating a real machine. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for showing me. That was a lot of fun. No problem. All right, let's keep moving on. Now on the main floor in the shop with excavators and large trucks where students come and learn how to fix them hands-on. But we're gonna move right past it because I think there's a forklift lesson right outside this door. So let's go take a look. And I am correct, look at that. We got students coming here getting the most comprehensive hands-on experience to learn how to operate forklifts. And they will be WorkSafe BC certified by the time they're done this course. And it looks like a lot of fun, but we're gonna keep looking around this campus. All right, this is so cool. We are on the tracks here on campus and there's this beautiful train behind me. It was built in 1992 and it was donated to BCIT from the CN Rail Company. And hopefully we can hop up and check it out. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going today? Can I come up? Yeah, come on up. All right, thanks for having me aboard. Yeah, you're welcome. Can you uh, tell me what you guys are up to today? Right now we're doing a pre-departure job briefing for working on the railway. We're working on a road trip. So this is where they would train to take a train from, say, Vancouver to, say, Boston Bar. That's awesome. Well, can you guys give me a ride home in the meantime? Yeah, where do you live? I live on the island, so. Oh, yeah, no, it shouldn't be a problem. We can <laughs> we can figure out a way to get you on a barge. Awesome. Get the switches. I'm going to go get a front view. Okay. okay. Hey, thank you for joining me here on this campus tour video. If you want to learn more about this campus, come see it for yourself. It's exciting. Come learn and grow. Put your education on the right track.